I've seen a lot of approaches in provision of healthcare, but without a doubt, the primary healthcare model is the best approach. But it doesn't always get the attention or the resources that it deserves. My name is Dr. Bernardo Oino. I am a family physician. I am in charge of the expansion of primary care networks within Kisumu County. Family medicine is a relatively new field in Kenya. I became a family physician because this is the most cost-effective way of addressing the health needs of a resource-constrained country like Kenya. I also wanted to have a broad focus approach to our health systems. As a family doctor, I'm able to handle a wide range of conditions. I'm able to treat non-communicable diseases, communicable diseases, handle maternal and child health cases, do administrative duties, teach, do research, mentor our colleagues, and lead the multidisciplinary team in the primary care networks. Some of the biggest challenges in provision of healthcare to the population is some areas are quite underserved. Individuals have to travel long distances to get care because there are no functional facilities next to their homes. There's a large deficit of human resource across Africa of up to 6 million healthcare worker deficit by the year 2030. This is also a similar situation in Kenya and Kisumu as a county. We don't have enough frontline workers we have a shortage of family doctors, medical officers, nurses, clinical officers, community health workers, and even specialized healthcare providers. If we had enough resources in terms of human capital, medication, and all the infrastructure, we would eliminate communicable diseases, we would prevent non-communicable diseases, and the health of our communities would be improved. The primary care model that we are establishing allows us to bring healthcare closer to the population. We are restructuring our health facilities and health services so that we strengthen the primary care facilities that are closer to the communities. One of the successes we have seen is that we have been able to move community health workers into the communities. We have seen improvement on maternal and child health indicators. We have seen a reduction of the workload in our secondary facilities because community health workers have focused more on preventive and promotive health services. So the overload of the secondary facilities has been reduced by 10 to 20 percent. This is a really exciting thing for us as a county. Ultimately, we have to do a better job in meeting patients where they are in their communities. Whether that's an expanse of primary care networks in the urban areas or community health workers in rural areas to identify symptoms before it is too late.